In today's video, we're gonna do a comparison between the Squire Classic Vibe 60s Stratocaster and the Fender Player Series Strat. I thought we might start by doing a quick unboxing. We'll take a look at the pickups, the hardware, the finish on the guitars, and we'll also do a tone test. We're gonna start by unboxing the Squire, which is actually in a bigger box than the Fender, which I find interesting. Included with the Squire Classic Vibe 60s Strat, we get a whammy bar, we also get an Allen key, some instructions, and a little bit of a warranty card or something else in there. We get some protection on the headstock and a little bit of a foam case. So overall, this is packed really well. I'm just gonna give you a quick first impressions of the Squire after unboxing it. So this particular guitar feels great in the hand. I've always been a huge fan of the profile on the neck here, as well as the gloss. It just feels really good on these strats and the guitar itself isn't too heavy. So that's always a bonus. It is almost, it's almost in tune straight out of the box as well. It gives you a sense of how good the tuning reliability can be on these instruments. Included with the Fender Player Series Stratocaster, we get a little goodies bag, which includes a whammy bar, a small Allen key, and a larger one over here. We also get what looks to be a sticker and an instruction manual. As you can probably see from the unboxing, there's no way this is straight from Fender to the shop. This has obviously been played or it's been on display or something like that, or someone wanted to have a look at it because yeah, clearly it had been opened before, but you still get a sense of what you get with it. <laughs> the foam material is slightly better. I'm gonna give you my first impressions of the Fender Player Series Stratocaster. So I'm digging this orange. That's the first thing that I have to make mention of. I already know that won't be for everybody, but I think it looks pretty classy. Let us know what you think. The thing that really stands out on this guitar is the satin finished neck. It feels really great in the hand. And after owning three Made in Mexico Strats over the last 10 or 15 years, they all pretty much feel the same, irrespective of the new features and all that kind of stuff. They're just a really playable and giggable guitar that can do anything. They're just a great instrument, and if you're looking for something that's not quite as expensive as the US models, this makes a whole lot of sense. But whether or not it's actually any better than the Classic Vibe, I guess we're gonna find out in just a moment. Let's check out the difference in the weight here. This is the Squire Classic Vibe. It comes in at roughly 3.4 kilograms, and I'll put the pounds equivalent on screen. And over to the Fender Player Series one, which comes in at 3.7 kilograms. So there you go. There is a slight difference between them, but nothing too much. Before we get into what makes these guitars different, let's take a look at the similarities between each of these guitars. Both of these guitars are solid bodies. We get a bolt on neck design, which is typical of every Stratocaster ever. <laughs> we get a 25 and a half inch scale length with a nut width rated at 1.650 inches. Both of these guitars are loaded with three single coil pickups. We get a five way toggle switch where the in between between neck and middle and middle and bridge at both hum cancelling positions. Both guitars are loaded with a single volume control and two tone controls. Let's talk about the major differences between both of these guitars. The clear standout for me is the fact that the Player Series Stratocaster has 22 medium jumbo frets as opposed to 21 narrow tall frets. Now there's nothing wrong with narrow tall frets, but you do miss out on that extra fret. So if you like to play up high, you're at a slight disadvantage. And I think the only other compromise with these frets over the medium jumbo is the fact that they're probably not gonna wear as well as the medium jumbos before you need to get some fret work done. So yeah, still very playable, very functional, and they feel great to play, but 
you are missing a fret. So if 22 frets is more important than 21, then go for the Fender Player Series. When it comes to pickups, the Player Series has the Alnico 5s, whereas the Classic 5 has the standard Alnico single coils. I don't consider that to be an advantage or a disadvantage. It comes down to which one sounds better to your ear. Some people will argue that the Classic Vibe sound better than this. Some will argue that this sounds better than the Classic Vibe. That's all personal opinion. But what I can tell you is it's a draw in terms of tone. And in my experience, after using both of these for gigs, recordings, all that kind of stuff, I would have no hesitations recommending either. Both are as functional as each other in the context of playing music. Somewhat related to the pickups is the switching system. Now they both have that five-way toggle switch selector, but it feels so much better on the Squire Classic Fire, but has far more tension. And over the course of months or even a year, you're gonna find that this still retains its tension far better than the Player Series Strat. That feels identical to every made in Mexico Stratocaster I've ever owned, where after a few months, if you're used to going from bridge to neck or from neck to bridge, there's almost no tension or clicks on there if you play a guitar a lot. So I'm gonna give the switch win to the Squire Classic Vibe 60s Strat. Let's talk about the synchronized tremolo system on both of these guitars. The clear win has to go to the Fender. It's far more reliable. We get two points of contact. I just think it's a much more playable tremolo system straight out of the box. If we take a look at the Squire, it doesn't even move. I can put as much pressure as I like on this. It needs to be set up. So it's basically unusable. But if you like a hardtail design straight out of the box, then the Squire Classic Vibe makes some sense. Let's talk about the finish on both of these guitars because I believe this is another compromise between each of these, but definitely not a deal breaker. While the finish looks great on the Squire Classic Vibe, it doesn't look as good as player series guitars. It would have been great to have had two matching guitars in terms of color, but being a lefty, that's not always available. So I can just tell you that the paint job on the Made in Mexico stuff just feels so much more robust and doesn't ding anywhere near as easily as the Squire Classic Vibes can. Let's talk about the tuners and tuning reliability. So both of these guitars are fantastic when it comes to tuning reliability. It just depends on which style you like the best. When it comes to this Stratocaster, we get the vintage style tuners where you put the string in, wind it around, and you're done. It's nice and simple. Whereas we get the string through tuners on the Fender Player Series guitar. Now, in terms of just turning the tuners, you know, back and forth and setting them to pitch, it does feel slightly nicer on the Fender guitar, and that would be expected given the difference in the price. With all of that said, at the end of the day, both of these guitars are about even when it comes to tuning stability. I'm gonna wrap this video up by talking about my experience playing both of these, which one I think is better in which type of scenario. So if we're talking dead clean tones in the context of a mix, which one do you like better? They both sound great. I do think I prefer the neck pickup on the classic vibe just a little bit more. It cuts through a little bit nice and has a little bit less bass, which Kind of sounds pleasing to my ear, but every other pickup combination on this sounds fantastic, especially clean for rhythm. It's got that slinky sound, and the player series really delivers there. When it came to playing dirty, again, the neck pickup kind of shines on this particular guitar, and the bridge pickup really cut beautifully, but I know already some people will probably find that 
a little bit too bright and that's where this just has a really pleasing sound overall. When it comes to the neck profile, shape and finish, I didn't feel like I was missing out on either. I used finger ease on both of these guitars to cut those tracks and both played just as well as either. With the small exception of I like the frets on the player series a little bit more. They just feel a little bit more sort of slinky under the finger, whereas these just feel a little bit more rough and that's because they're those tall and thin frets, whereas as the string has a little bit more surface area on the player series, so the win there goes to the player series. At the end of the day, both of these guitars will get you through a jam, a gig, any type of session you're doing, whether you're recording or playing live, it doesn't really matter. I played overseas with Squire Classic Vibes and made in Mexico Fender Strats and Telecasters, so both of them do an extremely good job. The biggest difference isn't the playability or the tone of the pickups, it comes down to the neck profile and the frets, that's about it and also that five-way toggle switch, so both guitars sort of have their advantage. If I was choosing between these two, I would keep price into context, but I would also pick the one that plays and sounds best on the day, because that's always the way to shop. Thanks again for watching, my name's Shane, if you want to check these out, I'll link them below. Catch you soon. See ya.